Hey, hey, hey people, it's Angie from Angie's Guide 2 and today I'm going to talk to you about five ways of making money to start this business that you're going to be starting. So one of the things that people keep asking me all the time is that I don't have any money to start a business and believe it or not, you don't actually need money to start an online business. Okay, if you ask any entrepreneur or business owner, with um very especially if you ask successful business owners, if you ask them how did they get started in their business, they will tell you they started with either no money or very little money. Um, the most important thing that you actually need to start a business is an idea. Okay, you just need to have an idea of what the kind of business you want to start. You also need a clear focus of what that business is. Okay, and then lastly, you just need to be creative to get that business started. So I'm going to share with you today five um, five ways of how to make some money to get this business of yours started. So first of thing, you can sell your idea first. So what that means is your idea, whatever you want to sell, whether it's a product or a service, you can go out and find your customers first. Once you've found a few customers, you can tell them this is your idea, this is what you, um, you're going to be producing, um, the service you're going to be delivering or the product you're going to be giving them. And you, if you sell it or frame, frame it correctly, the customers will actually pay you first. And then once they have paid you, then you can go and deliver that service, go and deliver that product that or go and make that product and deliver it go um create that course that you wanted to create and then give it to them but the the most important part is that you would have found your customers and they would have paid you some money and then you would deliver the product okay that is one way of doing it that process works a lot of majority of the time with a lot of people a lot if you go and um, research a lot of people have started off their business doing exactly that process finding their customer and then getting the customer to pay them first and then going to deliver the product or service it's um, a tried and tested process so if it's worked for other people it will work for you okay Number two, sell your own stuff. If you look around your house or if you've got a room, look around your room, you will see that you've got a lot of stuff that you're actually not using or wearing. Go through everything, build an inventory list and then just sell it. There's loads of online platforms now. You can go and sell it or you can go down um, to some shops and sell them there. But there's loads of ways you can sell your stuff, okay? If you wanna go one step further and take your business seriously, you're not gonna have any use for your TV or your PlayStation, so why don't you just go and sell that? I've known a few people that they've started businesses, they've got rid of all their electronic devices, they just kept their laptop and their phones, and they went and sold everything else to generate um, some capital to go and invest in themselves and in their business and they sold their TV in their PlayStation. You can go and sell those things. To take it even a step further, you can ask your friends and family if they have any stuff that they want to get rid of out and want to sell. And then you can ask them, can I sell your stuff for you? And I would give you X percentage. Now you can negotiate with your friends and family if you give them a fixed amount or give them a percentage of whatever you sold and then you would keep some of that. And that's a tried and tested method as well. That works on, on everything. You know, we do that on a day-to-day -day, um, on a day-to-day -day business, i.e. look at Amazon. Amazon is actually the middleman. There's a seller, there's a customer, and then, you know, they're in between. They offer their service. They get a cut when the um, whenever somebody buys something um, from the seller. So we all, we all, that's a tried and tested method. So you can go and do that as well. Go and sell somebody else is somebody else's that you know legally stuff or sell your own stuff or both number three 
see what you can get for free. So if you go on Google, you can type in what can I get X for free? And the X means whatever you're looking for. So if, for instance, you are looking for a free website, how to create a free website, you can type that in. How do I create a free website? And a list, Google will return a list of all the companies that offer free website services. So there is a lot of things for free that you can get just by looking and the best place I would suggest is to look on Google and see what you need for free and see if there's somebody offering that for you. The second thing you can do is their social media. So social media is one of the biggest platforms. Everybody uses social media and there's so many different social media channels right now. So there's something for everybody, no matter what your business is, you could be utilizing social media as your marketing tool. It's one of the best marketing tools. It gets you in front of your customers a lot quicker than if you was to go and print and put flyers out and try to deliver flyers to people in areas and stuff like that. Just get your social media um, done, get on the social media channels and start promoting your idea, product or service, okay? Another thing you can get for free if you just go and ask for help from people. So on, for instance, on your social media, if you are stuck in a particular um, aspect of your project and you need help, if you ask the question, somebody will actually come to your aid and offer advice or help to actually do that for you. And most likely they will offer it for free. OK, so once you've made a connection where somebody offered you something for free, it's actually natural for you to actually offer your services. So there's something that we all can do that other people can't do. So it's like a bartering system now. So you if you offer your services for free and do something, they can offer their services that you need for free. So that's a, a really great exchange of how you can get certain aspects of your business done for free and you will exchange your um your efforts for their and their project for free so you'd be collaborating now number four is see what you can borrow for free okay so this is if you can get around the right group of people okay and if you have a good network of friends or um you just go on to i don't know facebook groups and stuff like that people will start lending you and borrowing stuff for free. Um, it might sound a bit, okay, no one borrows anything, but it works. If you, it's just about framing it, framing the question correctly, being willing to help other people as well, and people will help you as well on your project. So as long as you are open to helping, people will be open to helping you. So, and then if they're helping you, you'll be able, you will open up a whole new world where you can actually borrow things that you need for your personal business for free because you will make really great connections. And that goes hand in hand with actually the last, the last step, which was asking for help. Okay. Now, fifth, go and ask your friends and family. Go and ask them. You never know. You know, we have aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins. Go and ask them for help. Share your business idea with them. They know you, you know. You share your business idea with them and see if they will help you. Not every family member will help you, but there will be ones that could help you. So go and ask them for help. This could be, you can you can do a bartering. You don't know if they have the same business idea. You don't know if they want to do the same business with you. But what I would suggest is go and ask your friends and family for help. So I hope these five ideas have been really helpful to you and that now you know how to get some money to invest in yourself and your business that you're going to create. Okay, so if you like this video content, please subscribe to my YouTube page 
and please like all me like my socials my instagram my facebook my twitter accounts all the links are in the description below and i will see you next time